Hello guys, welcome to Ambi's Robotronics. Most of the robotic projects that start, that people start off with would be either an obstacle detection robot or a line following robot. I have two different modules here with me. So one is the miniature one. This is about uh, 0.7 inch by 0.7 inch. That's a, so to be to mention it in centimeters, that's about uh, two centimeters, two centimeter by 2.3 centimeters. And, uh, to say about to talk about the features, this uh, is a miniature board which uses SMD components on the bottom side, and uh, it saves a lot of space on the board and hence uh, help and makes this board uh, as small as possible. And we have a pot on board which helps us adjust uh, the distance that we want, so it's not a single uh, fixed uh, uh, distance that it can measure. So you can tune it up and set the distance as you want. So distance still limits to 12 centimeters max. So the range of this particular uh, sensor can go up to 0 to 12 uh, centimeters. And there's also an onboard LED which indicates, uh, which can help you tune and also indicates that uh, this particular sensor has detected an obstacle or a line. And uh, it's, it's that three pins that it has, so three pin interface which is nothing but a 5 volts, a ground and an output pin. So you give inputs at these two pins and you take out output at this last terminal which uh, would be fed uh, to your microcontroller to process. So that's about uh, this particular uh, sensor and uh, and yeah, uh, talking about the uh, specif technical specification, this particular uh, sensor draws uh, as small as 20 milliamps uh, 20 milliamps of current so that's a very small amount of current for uh, this particular sensor and I've tried to optimize uh, the sensor to for for least uh, power consumption and also for the maximum range so the maximum range that I've got so far is 12 centimeter and the max maximum current drawn is like 20 milliamps so it's pretty decent for a small sized uh, sensor like these and uh, as I already told you, this can be used for uh, line sensing, obstacle detection also. You can use this. These sensors are pretty small that you can actually use them uh, for your wheel encoder. You can use it as a wheel encoder. So you can use uh, smaller LEDs like these, which would uh, make the sensor look even smaller. And you can place them on your, micro on your robot chassis so that uh, it can be used as a wheel encoder. So in this example, when I place the sensor on the other side and whenever there is this red part coming uh, in front of it, it detects a high and uh, when this empty space, this cutout space, cut out space comes in front of it, it acts as a, a open space which helps you uh, track the speed of the motor or like count or measure the distance that a wheel has uh, rotated. So, so these are uh, pretty handy uh, sensors that you use and uh, going to the next one is uh, this T-SOP sensor. So the reason that I have uh, two different types of sensor is uh, basically for two different reasons. One is uh, the, the previous sensor that we saw, these sensors don't work well in sunlight. That is if you're using these sensors for obstacle detection, so these gives false ranges when they are exposed to sunlight. So sunlight has the infrared component in it and uh, even if uh, there is no obstacle and if you face this sensor towards sunlight, uh, the sensor picks up false detection and uh, says that, okay, there's an obstacle in front of me. So these are not good sensors to use uh, as an obstacle sensors, but they do a very good job in optical encoding and also the line detection uh, robots. So coming back to this, coming back to the third product, this is uh, another infrared based uh, sensor. So feature of this particular board is that when you use this particular board and you are pointing the sensor towards sunlight, this sensor doesn't pick up the uh, frequency, the, the infrared frequency from the sunlight. So you can use you can use this particular sensor in any daylight anywhere outside. Still gives you correct reading. So the uh, the reason behind that or the secret behind that is uh, this particular sensor that you see. It's a TSOP uh, 1738 sensor, and this particular sensor can detect only 38 
kilo only the infrared led which is uh, modulating at a 38 kilohertz frequency so what i've done here is i have a triple pi uh, timer circuit here which uh, generates about 38 kilohertz and uh, that output is uh, given fed to this transistor which then drives uh, this particular led and this led emits infrared light at uh, 38 kilohertz frequency and that particular light when uh, it's uh, when it falls on an obstacle is reflected back and uh, this particular sensor gets that uh, light detect obstacles uh, without any problem of uh, sunlight of without any sunlight posing a problem to your uh, circuit or your robot so that's about this board and uh, the input to this board is a 5 volts uh, ground and an there's an output and the last pin that you see is a disable pin so you can actually uh, disable this particular uh, sensor or this triple phi timer this uh, the, the volt the frequency generation by pulling this particular uh, disable pin to low so this helps you save uh, your battery so whenever you don't need uh, obstacle detection to be done by the robot so you can uh, switch on or switch off uh, your sensor by just uh, making this pin low or high that's an optional feature so if you don't use it your board is always uh, running and uh, it's always detecting obstacles and you can set the distance using this particular uh, pot down here so i've used a multi-ton uh, pot which is bone type a bone uh, pot uh, which can which is a multi-turn type and uh, can give you fine adjustment and uh, these versions of the board uses these normal uh, presets uh, which uh, doesn't have fine tuning but still uh, does the job uh, well so that's about uh, this particular uh, and again this uh, uses some of the uh, SMD components which lie under the board so this is to save the space again and you have uh, three mounting holes to mount uh, this particular sensor anywhere on your board so i that's uh, there i've covered uh, the three products of three products that i've come up with and uh, these would be on sale uh, in uh, near future so probably in some more days i would uh, post them was the complete description on my website so guys who are interested in buying these modules you can you can just note down the website and the email id below and you can simply you can send out send me a mail and uh, i'll post you the details of these particular boards and you can buy one of these and you can use one of these in your project so some more videos coming out which will help you uh, which will help you in designing your own robots. So I'll make a few robots using these uh, sensors, and I will uh, would share it on share it in my website so you guys can uh, watch it and uh, follow it and buy these modules to develop such robots. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.